Dembski. Pride of Winnipeg. Pushing through for a touchdown. Are you kidding wow. me? Nick Dembski refused to be stopped. End zone look for Dembski. Touchdown, Bombers. Nick, we uh, we grew up playing hockey against each other since yes, we were sir. 10. Yeah. And now you're trying to win your second great cup for the Bombers. And I'm working for TSN asking you about it. So yeah. it's kind of funny the way things <laughs> work out. Pretty crazy transition, you know. Crazy, man. Crazy. Uh, look, I figured if we were going to do this, we needed some double specials from no DJs. No dope, man. Lachine, baby. Mm. What some people might not know about you is that you played hockey growing up. And I don't know how much you still play, but from what I remember, you're pretty good. Uh, can you just touch on the type of player that you were and if playing hockey, you know, d did it help you at all as a football player? I was always one of the more aggressive guys on the, on the ice and, you know, I... Honestly, I probably ran on my skates more than I actually skated, but you know, when I finally got that down, you know, I was definitely fast, got my shot down. So, you know, I, I played a pretty, pretty, pretty good hockey. Uh, I was like the MVP at Oak Park. So, you know, I'm, I, I'm a pretty humble man. I don't like to say I'm good or anything like that, but you know, I, I, I thought I was pretty good on the ice, but it definitely transitioned to the football field just because, you know, as I said, I was aggressive. I, I loved to hit out there. So, you know, I, I always transitioned that onto the football field and even vice versa. You're born and raised in Winnipeg. You went to Oak Park. I went to St. Paul's. Bit of a rivalry there. A lot of people don't know that high school football in Manitoba is huge. Yeah. Can you just touch on your own experience and playing for, for Oak Park? and a bit on the rivalry that you had with St. Paul's. Yeah, for sure, yeah, oh man. I mean, it's it's funny, I was just at the Oak Park football banquet uh, last week, and uh, in my little speech or whatever, uh, I said, you know, I was a one-time uh, champion champion uh, of uh, the Anavitz Bowl. Should have been two, because you know, the grade 11, I feel like I got robbed. I'm gonna look in the camera when I say, I feel like I got robbed. You had, but no. you had yeah. seven <laughs> touchdowns, yeah. as, a, as a running back too, by the yeah. way, before yeah. you transitioned yeah. to receiver. Six, six touchdowns, you know, I won't oh. feed false facts, but you know, yeah, no, it was, that was probably the game where, you know, it gave me total confidence that I could play football at the next level. They have put the win back in Winnipeg, the Blue Bombers, 2019 Great Cup champions. You are living the dream right now, man. <laughs> Some would say. Born and raised in Winnipeg. Yeah. You bring the city its first championship in our lifetime. I want to tell you, it was really special seeing <laughs> you guys do that. What was it like when, when the clock hit zeros and you just finally did it? You broke this curse that's existed in Winnipeg for so many years. You know, it's funny, you know, talking about Andrew. I mean, Andrew and I, in, in our quarterback kneel uh, situation, we, we are right there with Zach when, when he kneels the football. So. As soon as Zach's uh, knee touched the ground, I mean, him and I just, <laughs> I think I think I blacked out. I don't really even remember, but I remember, you know, the first person I found was Andrew and we were skipping, you know, there's videos on it on online and stuff like that, but we were just skipping across the field. <laughs> One of the first things that we talked about as soon as I signed was, you know, we got to get a great cup back here. And I mean, to kind of put those words into fruition and go out and do it. I mean, you know, that, that, that just felt amazing. So that's kind of that, that little moment of us skipping. That's kind of, you know, where it came from. And it was so surreal. It's just like, I remember seeing you and Andrew together. No doubt. Just being like, this is like the first big championship. I love the Winnipeg Gold Ice too, but like, you know, I watched the Bombers a lot growing up. For sure. And I was like, this is the first big championship that we've experienced as a city. So well, in my lifetime at least. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, do, do, I mean, it, do it again, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, it. that's that's the plan. I mean, you know, even with the off year this year, I mean, you know, just to come back here and, and everybody, you know, we, we didn't really have too much of a turnover rate. So our team's a lot of familiar faces. I mean, you know, we just wanted to get back out here and go to work. So, I mean, you know, just to see all this hard work and everything pay off, you know, we're, you know we, we've been working for this moment. So, you know, we got to go out there Sunday and, and do it. And then hopefully we can do a repeat. Darn right. Yes, sir.